Lisa Fairbairn, Dean of the DeVos Graduate School of Management, and I'd like to thank you for joining us today to learn more about our newly launched DBA program. As you know, deciding to pursue a doctorate degree is a pretty big life decision, and choosing a program that is right for you is so very important. So we're delighted to have the opportunity to share with you some highlights of our Doctor of Business Administration degree. It's a program we're very proud of. It's designed for working professionals, and it's a unique combination of leadership and analytics fields of study. The pairing of these two dif disciplines is not by happenstance. As many of you know, leadership as a discipline is very mission-centric to Northwood University and has been a competitive advantage of ours for many, many years. And of course, analytics is among the fastest growing fields of study today in graduate management education and beyond. Graduates of our program will become confident scholar practitioners with unlimited career possibilities in leadership, consulting, teaching, or research. This past August, we welcomed our first cohort of students into this program, and they are a wonderful group of professionals committed to working hard and collaborating together and are eager to get their research agenda underway so that they can share the knowledge they create to inspire individuals to lead their organizations to better performance and ultimately contribute to a broader body of management knowledge. You will get to hear from two of those students a bit later, and they have just completed their first class in the program. Melissa, if we could go to the agenda slide. Um, also today, so here's our agenda for today. You will be hearing primarily from our Associate Academic Dean and our DBA Program Manager. They will be sharing program highlights as well as details on the admissions process. We also have some of our DBA faculty members with us and they may chime in, in, chime in as well in the Q&A part of the information session. So now I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Todd Thomas. Not only is he our Associate Academic Dean, but he is the program lead for the DBA. And he is currently wrapping up teaching the first course in the program, which is the Introduction to Doctoral Studies course. Dr. Thomas. Thank you, Dr. Fairbairn. And thank you for all of you who are attending today for this information session. Uh, we're all excited about sharing some of this information with you for your consideration going forward. Um, let's start first with what we stand for. Um, if you're familiar with Northwood, you know that our mission is to develop the future leaders of a global free enterprise society. And as we looked at developing the DBA, uh, we thought, what better way to do this than to offer a terminal degree in the tools, research, and processes to, receive, uh, to, to achieve that success? So what is the DBA at the DeVos Graduate School? Well, uh, it is, first of all, uh, as all of our other programs are, it is focused on the application of your learning to real world problems. In this case, through the combination of leadership and analytics. So with this approach, you will not only gain an expertise through knowledge learning, but you will also create knowledge through learning quantitative, qualitative research, tools and approaches as a scholar practitioner. One of the great things about a DBA is that this research and development is focused on your interests and how you foresee using things in the future, not necessarily uh, how we might present the idea of academic research or where you should be focusing your efforts. This is all about you and your success going forward. So why should you consider a DBA? Well, as you're aware, MBAs have rapidly become the cost of entry in many organizations for permanent or higher level positions. So holding a DBA not only differentiates you, but will also open the door to greater opportunities in organizations, as well as consulting and education. So with the tools that you gain as the holder of a DBA, you'll not only be able to master solutions, but one of the most important elements of doctoral study is that you will be able to create solutions that don't already exist. 
So when I refer to doctoral study, a lot of people uh, find themselves interested in moving their education forward, but as they look across the marketplace, they see that there are DBAs, doctors of business administration, and there are PhDs, doctors of philosophy, in areas of management and business. So should you be pursuing a PhD rather than an MBA? Well, maybe. Uh, it depends on where you see your future. So a PhD in management is the qualification of choice if you see yourself as an academic researcher um, as opposed to a scholar practitioner. The tools and experience you have will be focused more on academic theory development and in most cases require residence due to the fact that much of PhD training involves working as a research assistant um, or perhaps a teaching assistant um, quite uh, a, a, as a, a relatively large portion of that educational experience. With the DBA, we assume that you're a working adult who wants to learn the tools that are common in business and as a result, have a focus on the application, creation, and sharing of knowledge. You will also find a difference in the faculty backgrounds uh, and qualifications of those who teach in these two different programs. In a PhD program, your faculty are likely to have strong academic research, um, strong teaching backgrounds. In the DBA, we also have strong research and teaching backgrounds, but most of us have spent a large part of our career in senior positions in organizations or consulting, uh, which allow us to help focus your learning on the business environment that's going to be important to you. So let's take a minute and look at the program outcome. As you probably determined by now, um, our program outcomes are around the key areas of leadership, organizational behavior, business functions, analytics, all within the context of free market. Um, you'll learn to address quite complicated issues through your own ability to collect and assess data. You'll also have the opportunity to master theory um, and the methods that will be key to your role as a scholar practitioner. Again, these are all very important, but when you finish this program, we want you to be able to use what you've learned directly in the pursuit of your career objectives. We've also found, um, and uh, switch slides please, that um, as we did our research on this program and we started to talk to some organizations about what they're looking for, uh, we found that most companies are fairly comfortable finding analysts since business analytics is a very hot field. Now, they may have trouble because it's a hot field, but they're pretty confident that they'll find people who are qualified to be analysts. What they are desperate for, based on our interviews and research, is those people who have a comprehensive understanding of business and management, and that understand analytics, so that they combine those two in order to translate and communicate the outcomes of the analyses, so that they can be put into place for strategic outcomes. Uh, it's one thing to have a lot of data um, and to have a lot of very cool charts and analytical approaches, but ultimately if that can't be translated into business, uh, organizations are finding that it really is not paying off like they had hoped. So this is a comprehensive program. You saw in one of the initial slides that it's a, a 54 to 60 credit hour um, uh, program. Uh, the reason there's a range like that is because ultimately it is a 90 graduate credit hour uh, program, so some people uh, may need to, to uh, get 60 hours, some people may need to have a few more, a few less than that. Um, but I wanted to show you briefly what a plan of study might look like. Um, I say might look like because uh, some of this will evolve as it relates to uh, the, the scheduling of these courses, but this is going to be pretty close. 
The first two courses that you would take would be the introduction to doctoral studies and the research design and analysis course. Um, as Dr. Fairbairn mentioned, uh, we're just now wrapping up the introduction to doctoral studies course, um, and in the next eight weeks will be research design. Uh, those are the only two I want to mention in any depth because those will always be the first two courses that you begin with. Those actually lay the foundation for you to move forward in the doctoral program. So right now, if you're considering it and you say, man, I don't know anything about how to do research, I don't know anything about how to do any of this, uh, understand that, that we have designed the program so that your entire first semester is spent getting your feet under you, getting the basic tools and understanding how all of this goes forward. Now, if you look through the rest of the plan of study, you'll see that there is a mix between organizational theory and leadership as well as research and analytics. Again, these are thought through in a way to uh, help you be successful as you go through the program. Uh, the program is designed so that you can conceivably complete your DBA in uh, three years. And one of the, the ways that we do that is to have a plan of study that um, allows you to start developing your ideas, developing your dissertation, as you go along during those, um, during those first two years. So if you look at the next slide, you'll see that your third year is really focused on the dissertation, um, on the, uh, from, from the point of approval of the process, or the proposal uh, of the topic, all the way through the actual defense and completion of the dissertation. So we've designed the program so that when you get to that fall semester or that first semester, I should say, of your third year, you already are steps into the process of getting your proposal done and then moving forward from there. A lot of us in our doctoral studies um, did not have the opportunity to even start our dissertation until the beginning of the third year, which is why sometimes you hear people talk about taking you know, many years to finish their doctorate, and often that's because um, they really weren't able to incorporate progress through their studies. We have tried to design this program in a way um, that that's not the case. So let's talk about the characteristics of a course for a moment. Um, courses are eight to six weeks long. Um, in general, they are asynchronous, and by that I mean um, as an online program, Typically, you will begin the week um, with uh, an understanding of, of what needs to be accomplished that week. Uh, you'll have access to all of your readings, to all of your assignments, to all of those things so that you can work them into your own rhythm and your own schedule. Most classes are going to have uh, an optional synchronous session so that on a weekly basis, uh, most classes are going to have an opportunity for the whole class to meet online um, to discuss the material, to answer questions, to do exercises, um, and really uh, allow for that social bonding that goes on within your cohort, as well as direct interaction and learning from each other and the professor. Um, there will be a number of software tools that you'll learn along the way. Um, and as we have looked at those and we've applied them to the program, we have found um, uh, these to be uh, web-based, um, typically available for free download, or we provide them as part of your package with the university. And then, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, each one of the courses is going to have some element that moves you closer uh, to being able to jump into that dissertation and do the final work in that third year. There is one part of a program that I want to spend just a few more uh, seconds talking about, and that is our residencies. Um, the residencies are a crucial part of the doctoral level experience. And so uh, every year, <clears throat> excuse me, every year there will be a, um, a four-day residency uh, it will be on the Midland campus as we're planning right now. Um, typically from Thursday through Sunday, uh, you'll have uh, advance notice of the dates so you can plan it. Um, and the weekend will be structured 
to allow for interaction with faculty, uh, interaction with each other. There'll be sharing of ideas. I think you'll find as you get into the program that you will become quite interested in the research that other students are doing. Uh, so this will allow for some presentations of research, uh, some sharing of ideas, and also some one-on-one -on -one meetings with dissertation chairs and, and so forth. It will also be an opportunity for faculty and other experts that we ask to participate to share their research um, and to, uh, again, be a part of your intellectual development as well as practitioner development um, as, you know, we go through the, the process of the doctoral um, studies. Now, as each year progresses, um, and as you'll see at the very end, there will be um, opportunities for first-year students to interact with third-year students. Um, and this kind of mutual learning can really be powerful and is a unique element of pursuing a terminal degree like the DBA. Now, all of those things, obviously, I would be highly excited about. Nope, you were right. <laughs> um, I, I would be highly excited about because I've been part of the development and uh, you know bringing all this together. But what is probably more informative is to talk to a couple of folks who are currently students. So I'd like to introduce um, Valerie Task-Cook. Uh, she's the Healthcare Liaison and Marketing Director for Samaritas and Grand Rapids. And D.A. Jones, uh, who's the Director of Finance at Sutton Advisors in Lansing, Michigan. Uh, both of them are currently in the doctoral program, uh, both of them wrapping up my class right now, and I would like very much for you to get a chance to hear from them. So, Valerie? Hi, thanks for having me. I'm glad you guys were able to ask me, and I had the time. Um, I am excited to be final, finishing up our first eight-week class. Um, I like the structure because it's eight weeks, one class, eight weeks, the next class, no overlap. Um, I did decide on Northwood because I did my MBA with them as well in the cohort. And then I also did half of my bachelor's degree online through Northwood. So I'm kind of, you know, I like them the best, let's put it that way. Um, but at the end of the day, the reason I did the DBA with Northwood is because it's a real world experience. Um, my MBA was very hands-on in the sense that like we learned about things we were actually doing in our business places at that time. And the DBA just ex ex extends that, right? So you're doing more deep study on something that you really feel passionate about and you're fitting it into your, wor your world. So however that looks, uh, my best part about this is if it's something that's really important to you, you're going to find the time for it. And I have. Um, it, it is a juggling act, right? So, I mean, you have to figure out what's what's going to work for you in your world. Um, but my biggest thing is I make sure to schedule time on my calendar like it's a work-related function to make sure I get the work done that's necessary. But the best part about it is, is like before, you were studying classes that you needed to to accomplish the degree you were hoping to get. The difference with the doctorate program that Northwood has created is you're studying something that you're passionate about and diving deeper into it and using the resources they're giving you, which are the classes, to then go out and give back to that educational world. So you're not just retaining information, you're also giving it back to them for other people to learn from what you've done as well. So it's really um it's not just about learning and retaining. My favorite part is, is that you're also giving it out and also using that information to create something that other people will hopefully read and learn from. So um, the Northwood program has, is, is, was exciting for me because I've been waiting for it for five years and now it's here and I'm in the middle of it. So it's, it's great. DA, all you. Good afternoon. So my name is DA Jones. I am from Lansing, Michigan. Can you all hear me okay? Can you hear me? Can you raise your hand, Valerie? Can you hear me? Okay, good. Um, so I went to Sexton High School, and after leaving Sexton High School, I had the fortunate opportunity to attend Northwood University as an undergraduate student. So I have somewhat of a, a unique experience with Northwood. And so um, right now I work for Sutton Advisors, uh, where we specialize in investments, uh, estate planning, and insurance work. 
And I've been there since 2012. And my current role, uh, as mentioned earlier, is the director of finance. So the reason why I chose Northwood's doctoral program, it, it really dates back to my undergraduate studies uh, as an undergraduate student on campus. And so, you know, when you're on campus, you can really feel the culture of the faculty wanting each of the students to succeed on campus. And so the other thing that you feel uh, at Northwood is, is it ignites this passion for curiosity and, and lifelong learning, which is something that has you know, carried me throughout my academic and professional career. And so even when it was time for me to choose an MBA program, there was just really no doubt where I would attend. Okay? And so after completing Northwood's master's program, I actually applied and was accepted into three different doctoral programs and uh, was reluctant to pull the trigger on those programs for some odd reason. And then you fast forward 10 years later and Northwood has instituted its inaugural doctoral program. So we're in this inaugural class. And so, you know, when I saw that again, it, it came back to there is no doubt where I want to be. And so um, I knew it would be challenging, you know, um, but I also knew that Northwood has an extremely supportive faculty and supportive professors. And so um, in terms of it fitting into my everyday life, you know, we're just finishing, you know, our first class and uh, some days are better than others. Some days I wish that I had 34 hours as opposed to 24 to get things completed. But like Valerie said, you know, the biggest thing is this, if you want to do something, you're going to make it happen. And so what I've learned and the biggest thing that I've taken away so far from this DBA program is that it has allowed me to cut out the misuse of my time. And so I'm much more intentional in terms of how I, I spend my time. I'm much more intentional in terms of how I spend my time with my family, how I allocate time for study, uh, the conversations that I will have with people in terms of just wasting time where I could be spending and studying. So I'm extremely intentional in terms of how I spend my time. <laughs> so that, that, that's the, the biggest thing. But you know what I truly like about the program right now um, is one, the diversity of our inaugural class. We have some extremely great individuals in this class and I'm really looking forward to both learning with and from our current cohort. And the second thing that I really like about the DBA program is that we have a great faculty with some awesome minds. And as a result, Dr. Thomas did go over what the DBA program looks like, but they've put together and designed a truly challenging, rigorous and well thought out curriculum since our first class and, and we see that and feel that. And uh, like I said, you know, what, what can I say? I'm, I'm extremely biased. I am Northwood through and through. And I know that Northwood has put together a really good doctoral program that will, will challenge and rival any doctoral, doctoral program that's out there. So I love the program. And, and again, the reason why I chose this program is because I knew that there was an extremely supportive faculty and a, a, a cohort of professors who will definitely make sure that we succeed. So that's it. Awesome. Thank you both so much for, for your input and your insights. We really do appreciate it. And um, congrats on finishing, almost finishing your first class. Um, it's excellent. So I am Melissa Cockrell. I am the DBA program manager. Um, and I will be talking a little bit about the admissions process and the big question everyone's asking, the investment. Um, you know, you may be asking yourself, what is what is the investment I'm looking at here? Uh, this is based off of the 2020 and 2021 DBA tuition. We're looking at about um, $1,250 per credit, which ends up being about $375 for a uh, three credit course, which most of our courses are three credits. Overall for the program for 54 credits, it is about $67,500. This is not inclusive of your books and things. We have estimated books to be about $1,200 to $1,500. Our faculty are always looking at other options as far as making it um, more cost effective. They have looked at, um, you can rent textbooks, purchase, most of them will be purchased on Amazon. Um, you can use paperback, you can use hard copy. So, you know, there are other options. That's why it is just a rough estimate. It also is not inclusive of some of the parts of your residency. Um, the residency, as far as the, some of the meals in the hotels when you're on campus will be covered, um, but your flight, your rental cars, things outside of that four days is not um, covered in that 67.5. So um, again, that's just the overall tuition based on the 2020-2021 school year. For the admissions process, I, we are looking at our spring start, which starts January 18, 2021. Um, we're very excited for this cohort. 
We will need all portfolios to be completed by November 16th. Um, part of the portfolio that we put together for each applicant is your online application that you have to submit through our website, apply.northwood.edu. Um, you will also have to upload your current resume or CV and a 1000 word essay basically laying out your commitment to the DBA studies, any research interests and um, personal business, things of that nature that can help us understand you as an applicant. And two letters of recommendation. One would have to be from a past or current employer and somebody, um, ideally an instructor from an your past academics that your academic skills and your um, passion, things of that nature. And then additionally, we will need your official transcripts. Official transcripts are something that are sent from your current or previous institution directly to Northwood. Keep in mind, if you attend Northwood currently or have attended Northwood in the past, we will have those transcripts on file. And that's something that I'll work with you on to make sure we have everything. And I will be in contact with you all along the way um, during this whole process. So um, again, as I said before, the portfolios do have to be submitted by November 16th. And um, from there, there will be a panel of our faculty and our dean and associate dean who will review the portfolios that and make sure you meet all of the criteria. And I do have the criteria listed there. And again, this is something I would work with you on to make sure that we are hitting all of this, but basically it's managerial experience, um, understanding and conducting applied research and um, critically think, being able to have critical thinking skills and any professional objectives, things like that. Um, and when they go through your portfolio and have that initial interaction with you in the interview process, they will make sure that you understand the time commitment and your reasoning for pursuing the DBA. Um, from there, we will be doing acceptance offers to our DBA applicants um, the first week of December, December 7th. And you will get a letter uh, as well as a touch point from myself or one of the uh, assessors that looked over your portfolio. And once you are accepted into the program, we do ask that you pay a $250 um, deposit, which would be due by December 14th. So, those are just some important dates. Uh, I will be sending out the timeline as well as this presentation after um, the webinar is all completed. I'll, I'll definitely reach out to everybody and just make sure you have all of the information you need. Okay, and then I did just wanna to touch very briefly on our graduate degree. Um, if you have someone in your professional network or someone you know, a family member or a friend who may not have their MBA or is not at the DBA level yet, we do have um, programs such as our Masters of Business and our Masters of Science programs. And I'm just gonna touch a little bit on that. That way you can provide that information to people and you can um, pass along any of this as well. But it is a safe and dynamic student-centered learning. Um, it is as I was saying before, immediate application. So the things that you're doing in work and the, the interactions you're having with the people that you work with, those types of things will be happening in your cohort and it'll be application and learning tactics that you will be able to use from day one in your current work environment. So um, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, it's probably a lot of tests and things like that. And it's, it's not, it's actual, topics and information that you'll be utilizing in your work um, environment. It is facilitated by our faculty, which as you can tell, are very passionate, very experienced people. They are people who are currently in the workforce and or have been in the workforce in some way, shape or form, consulting, um, have held leadership roles. They have a lot of experience to speak to and a lot of um, advice to offer. And it does really drive home the critical thinking skills through a problem-based approach, which if you do that with your MBA, it is perfect, then step into the DBA from there. So um, again, this is some of our programs that are just really great on um, 
facilitating those types of things. And here you will see is a list of all of our programs that we do offer for the master's level. We have our MBA, which we have an evening MBA. It meets once a week um, face to face for your cohort. We have the online MBA and it, it, all of these are uh, cohort based for the most part. And then we have our MSOL, which is our Masters of Science in, or, in Organizational Leadership, our Masters of Finance and our Masters of Business Analytics, which is a new and very exciting one that we are so happy to have um, now a part of. We are looking at the next start dates as um, October 19th, which is Monday, as um, it is an eight week course. So we do have a start on Monday, but also we have a spring start that starts January 18th. So that is also an option. These are flexible class formats. They are um, have capstone projects at the end, which is a great way to really bring to light all of the stuff that you've learned and all of the information and business acumen that you've attained through you know, the time that you spent in the MBA program. And it is does have a dedicated graduate advisor. Um, her name is Stephanie Crampton. She is very hands-on and, and available to answer all and any questions. And there are scholarships available for our MBA and MS program as well. And it does not require the GMAT or the GRE. So I did want to add that on there. And finally, um, I didn't see any questions in the chat box, in the Q&A session, please. Um, if you do have questions, feel free to ask them, put them in there. Again, I will reach out to everybody um, just to make sure I provide you the information. But here um, you will see is my personal information that you can pass along to you know, friends, family, or anybody in your professional network who may have questions about the program or who may be interested in some of the master's program. Um, definitely share this with them. Okay, wonderful. Well, again, I do appreciate everybody coming today and attending. Um, I will be following up and sending out this recording to everyone and just to make sure that we get all the questions answered. But if there are no further questions, then the next 22 minutes are yours. Um, again, thank you and we will talk soon.